boys in Oakland are tired, don't we? All right, today we're going to take the Capra. We're going to take it down to the river. We didn't take it down to the river in a while. We did some changing on it. We had the brass uh, portal covers on the back and on the front. We took the ones off the back because we actually have Team Garage Hack Wild Overdrive, which is crazy in the front. And it seemed like the uh, tires were just sitting there spinning on the front and the back was catching, causing the Capra to kick up. I think it's going to fix the problem. We've been struggling with the truck ever since we bought it, mainly because it's so much different than all our other trucks. Uh, because of the wide axles and the extreme articulation, you can get out of the truck with it just being stock. So we're going to take it down there and uh, check it out, see if uh, it helped. Basically, uh, we've just got some Power Hobby. I believe that's the name of them. Uh, bead locks on it. Uh, I'm almost positive. We got the uh, Enjoiner, Enjoiner dual stage foams on it. There'll be a link in the description for those. I fell in love with those. I just, they're just great. This is uh, the Vitavon carbon fiber panels. <clears throat> These are pretty, but they're actually heavier than the stock panels. Uh, I think everything else is pretty much, pretty much stock. We just got the, the big. Uh, brass weights on the front you can see all that white lithium grease i really pack them in there we got stock servo stock motor everything's pretty pretty much stock except the tires wheels the portal weights and the carbon fiber body panels that do weigh more than the uh factory ones so you might not want to go that route check this little thing out over here i bought this the other day i had been keeping my tools up here on this pegboard but i I kept having to get up out of my chair when I'm working to uh, to get them. So I bought one of these things on Black Friday. Uh, not Black Friday, Prime Day. It was real cheap. They're on uh, Amazon by four or five different names. And actually, I, I took a chance on it. It wasn't but like 14 bucks, but it fits all three of my MIP drivers I use because I don't, I don't need nothing bigger than the, uh, what was it, 2.5 because I only have 10 scale cars. Fits my pliers, my shock pliers, screw, screwdrivers, and nut drivers, and pretty much about everything I normally use, and just a couple other tools I keep up here, not a whole lot, just my, you know, caliber, punch, and scissors, and wire cutters, and stuff like that. Oh, uh, I got some uh, stuff we're working on over here. We're gonna do some more mods on the TRX-6. Gonna cut the fenders on it. Since we slanted them shocks, it's got crazy articulation, crazy flex. Totally helped the truck. We got them uh, joiner dual stage foams inside these 2.2s with these uh, 1.9 high racks G8 compound. Uh, we pretty much, pretty much are gonna leave this truck alone. It's pretty good. It's it could be better, but you know we want a little challenge. And down here, the Rafe, not the Rafe, Rift. Excuse me, the Rift. Yeah, we took this thing out last time. And I actually broke a uh, drive shaft coupling. It goes on the end of the drive shaft where it goes into the transfer case uh, within the first five minutes. So we're going to be doing some upgrades on it. We got some parts coming in the mail to help we get here. And uh, we're going to slow it down a little bit. We're going to put some of these uh, Deep Woods uh, C3 compound. We also ordered another set of wheels for it because the uh, beads are so so thick on these stock tires that i basically just about killed these wheels by mounting them on this one time because it took so much so much pressure i had to start with a long screw then go to a shorter screw and then finally put in the stock screw all the way around a lot of y'all know what i'm talking about if you ever done that yourself well we're gonna put the capper in in the press head down to the river we'll see you out there ah uh, look at that most people that live around here just take this place for granted. You know? I don't live but 20 minutes from it. I take it for granted too. It's awesome. Well, we made it. So let's get the Capra on the rocks. Oh, 
Whoa! Wee! I guess I was right. Another day. break my head. I guess I'm on the camera. Let me get that off the camera. Oh, uh. 
<laughs> in the wash. In the wash. Okay. All right, Capra. It's a Break heel, I guess that's what my name is. There's a lot of parts broke on this heel. Oh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Those are the dirty tires, too. I didn't even clean them tires. more of this before we get out of this hole here. First let's take the bit right here and see if we're doing it better.
have milk on our tires, don't we? Oh, nice. Cat fly. Is she ready for some more upgrades? I think she needs a little bit more weight in the front. Not too much of a drag break, are they? Oh, nice! Where it fails in some spots, it comes out of others. Well, that pretty much does it for this video. I want to thank everybody for watching the video and thank everybody for hitting that like button, that subscribe button. Just want to thank all of my new subscribers. I mean, this just blows me away. It seems like my channel set on 26 subscribers for like a couple years. It was just crazy. But uh, I just thank you all for all you do, and I really appreciate it. Until next time, remember, I love you, but God loves you more.